Former Fox News contributor Tamara Holder sat down with Brian Stelter on CNN's Reliable Sources to discuss her reaction to a recent interview that Fox's owner Rupert Murdoch, 86, recently gave to Sky News. Murdoch's comments prompted her to fiercely lash out at her former employer, I don't have a job in TV anymore because the place that he has secured, unlike Fort Knox, allowed abusive predators to prey on women who just wanted to work, she said. That is not nonsense. This is people's. It's all nonsense, Murdoch said. In the aforementioned interview when asked if sexual harassment claims were plaguing Fox News, there was a problem with our chief executive, sort of, over the years, but isolated incidents. He added, clearly referring to Roger Ailes, the former CEO of Fox News who lost his position due to sexual harassment allegations in July of 2016. He did in May of this year. As soon as we investigated it he was out of the place. In hours, well three or four days. And there's been nothing else since then. Holder went on to illustrate just how terrifying and hostile she alleges the work environment was, let me be clear. Tamara added, I had a man pull out his penis in his office and shove my head on it. That was not flirting, that was criminal. She also explained the circumstances that led to her departure from Fox News. She accused an exec of sexual misconduct in 2015, which she possibly referenced in the interview. She later received a $2.5 million settlement from 21st Century Fox for her silence on the matter. So, why is she able to talk now? She says there's a provision in the deal that allows her to speak up if she is disparaged or maligned. What? Mr. Murdoch said, in my opinion as a lawyer, not as a victim or a survivor, as a lawyer, is that this gives me a legal right to respond, she stated. And I'm responding not for myself, but on behalf of every woman in America who has been abused. Hollywood lifers, share your thoughts and reactions to tomorrow's statements in the comments section below.